Hello, welcome to Rapid Bytes. Today we're gonna to go over payment workflow. Rapid is an API first company, and here in Rapid Bytes we'll show you how to work with our API to accept, hold, and disperse funds anywhere using local payment methods. You can go to community.rapid.net to ask any questions or comment below. Uh, the links uh, and comment section will be below, of course. Uh, thanks for being here. Again, we're going to take a look at uh, the payment workflow as you accept payments with Rapid. Uh, there's a workflow as you work with the API uh, and that comes along the customer workflow, uh, basically selecting your country, uh, payment methods and required fields, um, and as the customer makes a payment on your website or application. Uh, definitely important. I'm here on the get started page. Um, there's a workflow right here, but that's different. Uh, as you start to integrate uh, and do, and develop in Sandbox, make sure you are certified KYB uh, and in production eventually go live. Uh, something important uh, just to understand as you get started, as well as here, a list of supported countries with Rapid. You can follow the guide to create your client portal account. Um, and here is basically the uh, payments um, method pages uh, over all the different categories here. And you can head to this payments workflow kind of breakdown, it breaks down some of these steps that you'll take. Uh, you know, as I mentioned before, selecting the country, uh, rapid response with, with uh, the API response and then you choose the payment method and then there's required fields that you get that's kind of uh, put in all into one here uh, and then the response and then as the customer continues to select their payment method uh, and I'm gonna head over to the API reference page here is bank redirect we'll be doing uh, one of the payment bank redirect payments here and maybe thinking um, great Britain uh, or you know United Kingdom which is GB uh, country code we'll also be doing uh, maybe a card payment method uh, but also uh, this is not specifically the flow itself this is just uh, kind of a sequence to help you understand the interactions between the client uh, which is you uh, building the product uh, on top of the rapid API uh, as well as you know going to the customer and then as well as to the bank and and back incorporating the webhook as well um, and here we have basically the bank redirect page uh, kind of under the payment methods page it has an example um, as well as uh, a, a hosted checkout page example of what it looks like you know as the customer enters this information the country here has already been chosen which is most likely Singapore uh, since it has Singapore dollars so uh, you know incorporating that payment workflow uh, as shown here with the diagram and finally here again is the create payment API call and here are many different requests and responses I'm gonna head over to postman if you don't have postman yet or you don't know what it is you can check out our video. I'll post that link below as well. Make your first API call that will lead you to follow all the steps to open up Client Portal, uh, input your API keys, and get started to test right away. So the first call I'm gonna do as I kind of head back again is list countries. So that's going to uh, kind of list all of basically every country, but uh, you can see what countries and are listed in their information as well here is GB for uh, Great Britain and then pound um, these will show the basically the native currency uh, but to get to what currencies are allowed for what payment method uh, we'll have to do list payment methods by by country so again we chose GB um, and so let's find a bank redirect 
Here is Zap application. I believe there is more. There's Sepa and Trustly. Let's do Trustly. I see that used often. And then you can see the currencies here, uh, Euros and uh, GB. And so this has some information on um, maybe uh, some included more fields for that payment method. Uh, but until you go to get the full uh, payment method required fields, uh, I believe I saw that. get method, uh, payment method required fields. So I copied the payment method type, um, which is GB underscore Trustly underscore bank. And that is going to respond with basically all the uh, required fields here. And so customer ID is required. So typically if a customer is created, that can include everything below. So that actually, to make it easier, that's what I'm going to do today uh, I will also link uh, the customer um, create a customer API call below and so that's what um, we'll grab and we're gonna look for list customers and maybe find one with uh, okay I see uh, GB Trustly Bank, so they have this payment method already, and so now we can create a payment by Bank Redirect, and so again, this will be GB Trustly Bank, and then this is in let's do euros because we saw that uh, this accepts euros. Um, in in here it accepts euros in the currencies so we can incorporate that let's do 3000 again I'm working in sandbox so this is all test information and I will include the customer ID uh, I just paste it in here as I copied that Create that, and that should be ready to go. Uh, the fields, uh, any basically required fields or payment method options um, should be incorporated into the customer, and I believe uh, this will be um, returned successful. Um, one thing to note, there's an e-wallet here. This will, this is noting uh, for this payment, the 3,000 to go into this e-wallet, so if, that's not here. Typically, it'll go into your client wallet. And so I'm going to send that here. And looks like it's a success. Um, so uh, we have that. There is a redirect URL that you will have to follow. And um, that will look like this. And so uh, let's just do a success for that and that's not the password and so this is the completion page here and and I'm going to now let's see um, so there is no uh, webhook setup um, actually let me go ahead and quickly see if I can set up this webhook this one right here. Um, all right, and let me quickly just do this again another success awesome and so now we have uh, some webhook responses to that payment completed um, here's GB Trustly Bank it, we know it's a bank redirect um, uh, and the you know payment succeeded response 
And so, yeah, that was kind of the layout of a payment flow. We can do payment by card capture. And so if we're going back to list payment methods by country, we could do something like Visa. Um, let's just see what it is here. Uh, yeah, GB Visa card. So uh, we have this uh, payment method type. Uh, and then we get payment methods for that. Uh, and then we have the fields uh, required here is if you are going to do this by um, API. Uh, but of course, you can add this to a customer, save card details, uh, and then just do the uh, payment method ID. Uh, we are going to skip that but then here is basically an API call um, to create this uh, call and so let's just do 1200 I believe this should be good to go again this was uh, GB visa card and like all of the required fields listed here for that card and so I'm gonna go ahead and send this and again it's a success and so we have that here is the 3DS uh, token for this. So we can go ahead and uh, basically simulate that. That's need to put in the code uh, only up to six um, for a sandbox. Nice. And then that should go, uh, go through. Uh, I believe there is two. Um, yeah, if you do that again, there's, there would be an error. And so let me check up on that payment in response. Um, oh, there it was, retrieve payment. And so we see the status is closed. Uh, amount, again, that, that 3,000. Oh, actually, that was this. Let me grab that. And I believe that's a different one. Yes, so that, that one was successful, the payment method. But then also here is the card payment method, 1200. So um, just kind of went through a little bit of the payment flow uh, as we've shown uh, here uh, a little bit. This is a little bit of uh, kind of paired together with uh, getting the payment method as well as getting the payment method required fields. You know, the customer inputs their information or uh, makes the payment. You request the process to Rapid, uh, and then Rapid responds with uh, a confirmation. You can always uh, check and retrieve the payment uh, to see if it's successful payment, a uh, closed payment as shown here. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, comment below or you can post at community.rapid.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.